In today's video, we're going to be installing Linux on this iPySmart Amstam Lake dev kit from AD Link Technology. I've never used Linux before in my entire life. How bad can it be? So this is part number two of my DIY Christmas light controller series while I'm attempting to take the Christmas lights here in the Pro Technologies lab and not make them so stinking boring. So just like last week, the brains of this outfit is this iPySmart Amstam Lake dev kit. Now this dev kit consists of a, uh, a little computer on module about the size of a credit card right here. This is an LEC ASL smart module, runs a little Intel Atom uh, processor. And then it's on top of this iPySmart Plus carrier. This thing's pretty neat. It has USB, Ethernet, HDMI, has a Raspberry Pi compatible header, has uh, camera inputs, even has M.2 slots on the back. What am I ever going to do with M.2 slots? I don't know, but they're there. So let's get started installing Linux on this bad boy. So of course, since I'm ignorant on the subject, I'm going to be using the iPyWiki to guide me how to install Linux. So let's get started. So iPy.wiki is the main website for all of the uh, the iPy modules. And if we go to Docs Plus, Smart, iPy Smart Amstam Lake. That is going to be the wiki page for the Amstam Lake dev kit. Scroll down to software documentation and Ubuntu, and this is what we'll be using as our guide to install Ubuntu onto this module. So step one, go to Ubuntu's website and download the proper Ubuntu image for this chipset. Since it is a seventh generation Atom 7433RE quad core, we want to make sure we're downloading the uh, Intel Atom X7000 E series uh, for desktop Ubuntu. And then we're going to install Rufus in order to create a USB bootable drive. Now I think Rufus is kind of a funny name because <laughs> at least where I come from, Rufus is that one uncle that, well, you don't talk about at family gatherings. So using Rufus, we can create a bootable image for the smart module. And to tell you the truth, between the wiki and Rufus, the process is quite easy. So let's get to actually installing it on this module. Well, my bootable USB drive is ready, and I get one shot at this. What's the worst that can happen? And look at that, it actually works. I've got Ubuntu running on the smart module. I can't believe I did it. I can't believe it worked. One little thing I had to change was in the BIOS, I had to change the boot setting to the SD card where it installed. But besides that, it actually works. I am so surprised. So that's the end of part two. Join me in part three when we actually start configuring things on this thing to control some Christmas lights. <laughs> 